Hello and welcome to yet another important topic for the day and that is group discussion. Now the most important aspect of uh, a group discussion is leadership. We all know that a leader is the one who initiates, the leader is the one who actually listens to, the leader is the one who brings about the creative aspect into that particular topic the leader is the one who again restart when the discussion comes to a lull a leader is the one who gives the not spoken people who have not participated yet them a chance to open up and speak something and leader is the one who actually sees that the group goes in a uniform direction the leader is the one who tries and sums up things for the uh for the entire group the leader is the one who gives the correct idea and one keyword so that the discussion goes in the right direction so more than 5 to 7 times there can be an uh, leader emerging within that group so there is always a scope for one or the other to emerge as a leader and that's the reason leadership skills can be witnessed more than 5 times within the same discussion within the same group that is one good aspect and uh, the last thing is of course when there is a conclusion to be made keep in mind that conclusion is not sentences it is just one sentence that you need to sum up for the entire so entire group so take into a consideration of people maybe not forming homogeneous thought and still there would be existing uh, you know two thoughts in the same group or two opinion in the same group take the other group also into consideration and form one good positive constructive productive uh, concluding statement which has to be a very succinct very very crisp statement coming as a concluding statement so that has to come from from it can come from anybody need not be the starter of the discussion or uh, may not be the one who is driving the entire discussion to a positive point maybe anybody who can make a point and conclude it rationally so to conclude a group discussion is basically is to generate a few ideas also support and uh, you know form a growth for an uh, for an all the group members to take it into a constructive direction and maybe conclude it right so uh, there can be different roles of a, of of an individual in a group discussion which we have already seen but i would like to bring to your notices that uh, what the team or the panel thinks about uh, in a in a typical group discussion is that the panel looks at team player basically proper reasoning of the arguments that are shaping up leadership every now and then so there are there would be more than five incidences where the leadership can be emerged throughout the discussion of course there is always a room for flexibility of thoughts and opinions either side when you are opining or others are doing it let it be flexible let there be a lot of assertiveness of positiveness in terms of thoughts flowing and uh, thoughts being exhibited in terms of behavior as well initiatives can be taken when the groups uh, when the group is not speaking when the group has started speaking when the group gets repetitive when the group lacks creativity i think there can be n number of time when the initiative is taken where there is also leadership exhibited creativity is something that can be that can come out any point of time when the group discussion is happening ever ever so welcome inspiring ability again the sign of great leadership where he is or she is able to der- you know drive the entire discussion to a very constructive or productive front listening forms the basic of communication so it has to be heard whoever is is uh, you know opining or uh, making a point i think listening should prevail all the time and the bottom line of group discussion is awareness if the people are aware if they are taking it to a level 2 then i think it's for the rest who are not unaware of the topic to stay quiet and maybe participate only to the optimum level of theirs which makes the entire group proper to level 2 and they are on the same page so a group discussion phases will be it starts it gets initiated and it lies in the centrally in the group for everyone to discuss and of course there is a conclusion to be formed 
so uh, essentially to summarize what group discussion is speak whenever you are uh, you, when you get an opportunity speak speak freely do not monopolize it never ever jump f- f- for anybody let everyone get an equal opportunity to speak maintain eye contact always have an active listening practice do not interrupt anyone keep the topic on track never divulge it do not make it irrelevant encourage someone who is silent to talk every now and then do not argue or debate because they are very different from group discussion do not get repetitive clarify your doubts when needed be very brief and try and try to speak simpler sentences instead of speaking jargons or maybe uh uh difficult languages or phrases right some of the topics that i would like to lay down for you all which will help you to jot down or ponder about and make three different points and keep ready for the final group discussion whenever you come across i think that i'm laying it down for you all around 25 topics for your benefit and i think this should make a lot of sense to you so the entire idea of discussing group discussion as a topic today is to minimize the fear that it takes place in your mind and be ready always always remember a uh, some kind of a homework that you do acts as a preventive measure or maybe a proactive measure and finally when it comes to the d day when you are sitting across and trying to qualify this group discussion keep these things in mind it will go a long long way and remember when you are discussing you are a team you are never an individual so prepare well prepare best best wishes to all thank you